Coming off the cuff of Megamind and the realms of 2010, we're now hopping over to the exact same time frame with another 2010 project that never made it to fruition. Thank you to Scruffy the Magical and Gloggins for suggesting this on our Discord server. The cancelled cattail, which was certainly a bit of a rabbit hole to fall into. It's a relatively small story about a more underground animation studio, so let's get into the weird tale of Imagi Animation Studio. So Cattail, as you see it, is an English language Hong Kong computer animated comedy film. Kind of your classic kids animated movie, being done by Imagi Animation Studio. And if you're not familiar with them as a company, I don't blame you. Established in 2000, they are a Hong Kong based studio with their company focus being to create high quality CGI animated films with superhero themes for global audiences, combining the Hollywood storytelling with computer animation done in Hong Kong. Very nice, very standard, and Cattail was set to be one of the next films scheduled initially for 2007. The premise of the movie was this. A cat named Rover ends up in a place called Dogtown and goes to a place called Catopolis. Oh, th that's all it says. An incredibly basic synopsis that I don't think was done officially. Or maybe it was, and it's just that simple. I mean, Dogtown? Catopolis? The movie is literally just called Cattail. Needless to say, I figured at first this might be one of those suggestions I get where there's so little info about it that I can't really make a video out of it at all. Hey, did you hear there was a Meet the Robinson sequel? Oh, what's it about? Oh, oh the plot would have explored further onto Cornelius Robinson's life. And then all the future director DVD sequels were called off, so they stopped. Quality video there. That's, that's all there is to say. But no, while Cattail doesn't really have much to say in its text, we were graced with actual footage and trailers to try to pull an understanding from. Here it is, if you haven't already been witnessing it. And let's just say the animation is in its early stages to give it somewhat the benefit of the doubt. In the sleepy village of Dogtown. Our story begins at the McKibbles household, where a family of dogs are awaiting their newfound children. And of course, it's a stork system in this world. <laughs> I like that the UPS has become pss 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 instead. That's nice. Except, oh surprise, there's a kitten in the mix somehow. This is our main protagonist, Rover McKibble, who's about to go through life not understanding why they don't fit in in the same way everyone else does. Your classic coming-of-age story of learning who you are and finding like-minded people. With existential cries looking out to a beachy sunset and all. I need to find out who I am. <laughs> I wonder if Rover will ever find out that they're a cat. You are a cat. I'm a cat. What's a cat? Oh, well, spoilers. And from there, Rover goes to Catopolis. Where does the plot go from there? I honestly couldn't tell you. It seems like a collection of gimmicks and hijinks going on from this point on. Is it searching for their biological parents like an adoption story? Is it about self-identity and discovering that their dog family is still their family? Is it just funny gags and silly spectacle? Who knows? But that was the basic premise of Cattail. A weird one, and not necessarily a project I could see doing well if the animation is to be properly believed, at least at this stage, and yet things were in motion for a time. With the cast confirmed with all sorts of characters, such as Sean Austin as Rover, Alicia Cuthbert as a Turkish Angora who works as a news reporter in Catopolis, Stanley Tucky as Simon, a villainous Korak, Alan Cumming was said to be in the movie, this time as Newton, a Havana Brown who guides Rover through Catopolis, and then I guess just disappears, if that's his only synopsis. Billy Idol was said as Rover's younger brother Digger McKibble, and then other names associated with the project were Catherine O'Hara, Fred Willard, and Jerry O'Connell, whilst distribution was attended to Metro Goldwyn Mayer. And here's your brief poke to subscribe if you haven't already. So things were certainly in place for this small little project. The trailer of course was scripted and finished, all or most of the voiceover had been recorded by the actors, and some other animation work was done too. Oh, something I didn't mention about the trailer is there's actually two of them. They both showed the same clips and footage, except one doesn't include the voice acting and just has a cartoony soundtrack to do the heavy lifting instead. Some 
Weird marketing there, but I appreciate the extra sources at least. <laughs> All of which you can see in the description, by the way. I also found this one post online of a guy who had a claim on boxes and boxes of the storyboard for Cattail, reportedly made in 2005 to 2006 by Wendell Washer, which would be interesting to see in full. I hope that's real. But then at some point, the project was delayed to a 2010 release, and come January 2009, Imagi's auditing firm announced that the studio lacked funding to complete the release of Cattail and Gacha Man. And so the project stopped from there onwards. Wait, wait Gacha Man? What is this? Another casualty to the same bankruptcy? Actually, let's turn back time a little more and focus on the company itself, as while Cattail was going on its strange little side adventures, the company itself was juggling some much more interesting things at the same time. So history-wise, Imagi Animation Studios' first major CGI animated theatrical film was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 2007, truly kicking off a career as it opened number one at the box office and was distributed internationally and all that. Following that in 2008 came Highlander The Search for Vengeance, which they helped contribute to with major animation studio Madhouse before next up tackling Astro Boy in 2009. Now that's a film I remember seeing. In, in trailer form, I never watched the movie. During this same period, however, Imagi had many plans for the future and had at least three on their mind at different stages. Those being T28, Gacha Man, and The Legend of Zelda. Check this out. In 2007, Imagi put together a proof of concept reel to show Nintendo what they could do to bring The Legend of Zelda to cinematic life as a computer animated movie. And we have the footage of that entire reel up on the internet nowadays. Look at this! Looking kind of like the demo version of the Wind Waker sticking to the dark and dreary design of Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, which is coming out around about this time period. It is fascinating to see. Knowing that the company mostly hopped on to big IPs, it's interesting to imagine what could have happened had Nintendo actually said yes. Of course, they didn't after the burn that was the Mario Bros movie. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. But it's still interesting to think about. Kind of has that Star Wars Rebels look. But definitely something I could get into more if they just made it a bit more, I don't know, oomphy about certain elements popping up, like the Master Sword. I want to hear a motif when it appears on screen, not just a standard sword battle. Yeah, but what do I know? The other project on this side was T28, or Tetsujin 28, again producing just an animation test right before diving into Astro Boy officially. At the time, a full-length version of the film hadn't been greenlit for production, but the motivation was there. Previously, this IP had been remade in anime several times, and it's kind of a classic mecha, but again, would have been interesting to see redone in this 2009-era CG animation. It's certainly a category. And then finally, Gacha Man again. Now, this project actually survived the initial fallout of cancellations, as it was greenlit already and being dragged around to get completed by any means necessary. Probably because it was tied up with rights and deals with other companies and IP owners. Originally beginning in 2004, it was planned to be PG-13 or even R-rated at the time, and once the lack of funding was announced, the creative director bizarrely claimed it was expected to release in 2009. And then in June, Imagi opened Gacha Man for licensing, and announced a planned theatrical release for 2011 now. And in October 2009, Imagi Animation Studios finally properly released their Astro Boy project, and it was a box office bomb, losing the company $23 million in the process. On December 11th, 2009, 100 employees were laid off, yet in January 2010, it was announced that the Gacha Man project would be delivered in 100% stereoscopic 3D. And on February 5th, 2010, following the financial failure of Astro Boy, Imagi Animation Studios filed for bankruptcy and was sold to Brad Foxhoven. Hey, we know that guy. It's Mr. Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper. And the sale of it all was completed in May 2010. And finally, after more trudging around, Imagi announced in its annual report that the Gacha Man film project was cancelled. I see also notes for a cancellation on Astro Boy 2 and TMNT 2 and 3, but I imagine that's just speculation. The sources for a lot of projects around this seem quite spotty, so hopefully everything I've mentioned has been pretty accurate. And that was the full tale of a small animation studio you may have seen the works of in Imagi Animation Studios. How did you find Astro Boy? Is this news disappointing now? Would you have wanted to see that Legend of Zelda project come to reality? Or do you think Cattail was doomed from the start? 
let me know here or chat about it on our Discord server with like-minded people. For now, I'll be ending it off here. My name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.